When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, August 25th. I'm James Spann. All eyes are on Hurricane Harvey today. A lot to talk about. Of course, for Alabama, the question is, will it affect our state and when? So let's go in there and tell you what we know. And as we uh, usually do, we'll start with the water vapor satellite view. Winds aloft are light across the deep south and down in the Gulf of Mexico. Good ventilation for the system. And around here, it's quiet. Some high clouds, mid to upper 80s. Uh, Birmingham at 88. We'll see similar numbers over the weekend. Now let's just go right to uh, Harvey. This is a single, a still visible satellite view of the system. But let's roll this uh, one-minute interval visible animation from GO-16. This is just stunning. This is the new weather satellite. We've not had this kind of clarity before, and that is just mesmerizing. Uh, this is now a major hurricane uh, that was upgraded uh, here in the last uh, 30 minutes to one hour or so. And again, by the time it makes landfall, winds will likely be near 125 miles an hour. Uh, it's a very slow-moving system, as you can see. And as the steering currents collapse, the motion will be slow and erratic. And uh, it might be late tonight, early tomorrow morning before this thing gets inland. And again, by about the time it hits the coast, it's just going to slow down and stop and go nowhere. Not for one day, not for two days, but three or four days. That's a radar coming out of Corpus Christi. Very impressive presentation. That was at 232. We've noticed some of uh, the velocities uh, displaying on radar around 140 miles per hour at the radar beam height. So where is this thing going? Take a look at model output. Hey, hey, does that give you a headache or what? How would you like to be a meteorologist and make sense out of that? But uh, that's what uh, we are here to do. Uh, I'll show you the official track coming from the National Hurricane Center. And uh, they've got the thing uh, coming in after midnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, meandering about. And it winds up at a point near Port Arthur Wednesday morning. That's Wednesday morning of next week. This is Friday. And so needless to say, uh, you know, we've got some problems here. This is a little better resolution look at the track. And uh, you can see it comes in the center a little north of Corpus Christi, and that will save maybe Corpus Christi from some of the storm surge damage with the system coming in north of there gets inland, drifts back out perhaps over the water. The circulation center could be back in the Gulf at some point, uh, Sunday or Monday, and then back inland around Galveston Bay. Um, and again, this will probably be adjusted, but this is just going to, the bottom line is just going to sit there. And obviously rain has got to be the big problem. This is the uh, WPC guidance. Had to go to some new colors here. That's an excess of 20 inches. In fact, let me just jump right to the models here. Uh, this is the 10-day total coming off the GFS. It's got a max of 46.2 inches. I think that's bad. Check the European. That's a max of 60.17 inches. So needless to say, catastrophic flooding is likely. Uh, this is a dangerous, life-threatening storm. Uh, in addition to everything else we've talked about, don't forget the chance of tornadoes. We had tornado warnings today. This is the uh, outlook tomorrow for Saturday. You see the areas in yellow. That's the highest tornado probabilities, uh, basically from uh, Corpus Christi all the way up to uh, near Lake Charles. And that would include Houston, Galveston, Victoria. So it's going to be a wild ride for our friends, and we certainly hope they have been heeding the warnings and their precautions are finished. They should be uh, finished right now. Now, let's check the other little system uh, near Tampa Bay. This is Invest 92L. Things going to be moving northeast. The NHC guys have a moderate chance of developing in the next five days. Models that pick it up want to move it out to the Atlantic just off the east coast of the United States. And some of the models do bring it up to tropical storm strength. If that happens, this will be the ice storm. Irma will be the name. But again, that should not affect us. So let's go through the GFS. This is the 12Z run. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. This is at 500 millibars. And you can see the trough over the northeastern states uh, passing us by. Down below that, we stay in dry air. Tomorrow should be mostly sunny. I say mostly sunny. We'll call it partly sunny with high clouds. 
highs mid to upper 80s. Sunday will introduce the chance of a few scattered showers with moisture increasing, but the big rains obviously well to the west, and again, uh, Harvey going nowhere. This is Monday. Harvey's sitting on the coast, basically where it's going to be tonight. And really, Monday looks pretty dry here for Alabama. This is Tuesday. Harvey, no motion. That's just unbelievable. And again, we'll mention scattered showers for Alabama. This is Wednesday. Still sitting there. And moisture should slowly increase each day. So by Wednesday, showers and storms should be a bit more active and more likely. Thursday, the system weakens in the same place. And then this is Friday, a week from today. A little minor trough coming through here, and some of the moisture feeds in. And really, the GFS keeps this thing over South Texas. The bottom line is we don't know, but what we're going to do for our forecast, we'll bring in the chance of scattered showers beginning Sunday, scattered showers Monday, Tuesday, then a much better chance of showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week for Alabama here in the Deep South, but nothing, and I mean nothing, like the rains we'll see in Texas. And for the Labor Day weekend, let's go out to Labor Day itself. This is the end of the forecast period, Monday, September 4th, troughing to the north. That looks drier. It's really early to call the Labor Day weekend forecast with a tropical system in play here. It's simply too early to know. Anything goes at this point. Peak at the numbers, highs mostly in the 80s and lows mostly in the 60s, although we start to cool down nicely toward the end of that forecast period. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be here Monday morning by 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have these videos tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant Energy Efficient Systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.